Hello everyone! Ever wondered how Spark manages to shuffle massive datasets seamlessly and efficiently under the hood? Let's dive into the magic behind shuffling in Spark. Shuffling in Spark refers to the process of redistributing data across partitions to perform transformations like group by and join, ensuring data required for computation is collocated. Consider an example where the pet data divided into three partitions processed by two executors. One partition is handled by a single core. When we perform a group by operation on the pet data, a shuffle is triggered. The group by operation cannot be performed until all the related data is bought under the same partition. This causes the data to be exchanged, forming four new partitions for the executors to process. Shuffling may occur when calling operations such as group by join repartition distinct. During a shuffle, data is moved between different partitions and nodes. This involves sorting and transferring data over the network, which can be resource intensive and impact performance. Here are a few tips to reduce shuffling in Spark. Optimize data partitioning. Imagine sorting a library. If you categorize books by genre, for example fiction, nonfiction, before shelving them, it's easier to find and retrieve books. Similarly, partitioning data by relevant keys makes processing more efficient and minimizes unnecessary movement. Properly partitioning your data is crucial for minimizing shuffling. Use appropriate partitioning strategies like hash partitioning or range partitioning to distribute data evenly across partitions. By doing so, you ensure that related data is collocate, reducing the need for data movement during operations. Avoid wide transformations when possible. Think of managing a team project. Instead of having everyone gather all their work to a central location to be sorted and reviewed, group by key, you have each team member work on their specific section and summarize their findings within their small groups, reduced by key. Once the summaries are complete, the group leaders then meet to compile the final report. This approach reduces the amount of information being moved around and makes the project management more efficient and organized. Wide transformations like group by key and join often require significant shuffling. To reduce this, prefer narrow transformations and combine operations that can be performed locally. For instance, instead of using group by key, use reduce by key or aggregate by key, which perform local aggregations before shuffling, thereby reducing the amount of data transferred. Efficient use of cache and persist. Imagine a chef preparing a large meal. Instead of fetching ingredients from the pantry repeatedly, the chef keeps frequently used items like spices within reach on the counter. This saves time and reduces the need for constant trips to the pantry. Caching or persisting intermediate results can significantly reduce the need for repeated shuffling. By storing frequently accessed data in memory, subsequent operations can be performed without rereading and reshuffling the data. Select the appropriate storage level based on your data size and available resources to ensure efficient caching. Leverage SKU handling techniques. Imagine organizing a school sports day. If you assign students to activities based on their last names, some activities may be overcrowded while others are nearly empty. To avoid this, you can add a random prefix to their last names, salting, to mix them up, ensuring balanced participation. Additionally, you could create custom groupings based on interest levels, custom partitioners, to ensure all activities run smoothly and efficiently. Data skew, where some partitions are significantly larger than others, can cause imbalances and excessive shuffling. To handle skew, use techniques like salting, which involves adding a random prefix to skewed keys to distribute them more evenly across partitions. Custom partitioners can also be implemented to ensure even data distribution and prevent bottlenecks. By implementing these tips, you can reduce the amount of shuffling required in your Spark jobs, leading to improved performance and more efficient resource utilization. Advantages of shuffling Enables complex operations. Shuffling allows for complex operations like aggregations, joins, and sorting that require data to be reorganized across partitions. 
Without shuffling, these operations wouldn't be possible or would be highly inefficient. Improved Data Locality By redistributing data, shuffling can improve data locality for subsequent operations. Once the data is well partitioned, further transformations can be more efficient as they can be processed locally on each partition. Disadvantages of Shuffling High Resource Consumption Shuffling is resource-intensive, involving significant network I.O., memory usage, and CPU. It can lead to performance bottlenecks, especially with large datasets, due to the overhead of moving and sorting data across nodes. Increased complexity and potential for SKU. Shuffling adds complexity to the data processing pipeline and can introduce issues like data skew, where some partitions become significantly larger than others. This can lead to imbalanced workloads and degraded performance. I trust you found this video helpful. Thank you.